Hello, welcome to Citizens Forum. It is April the 24th, 2019. I'd like to start by thanking the volunteer crew and the Shaw staff that makes this show possible every couple of weeks. Um, we're going to start off with uh, sadly one of the most important uh, subjects in the world, which is the ongoing destruction of the planet in many ways. But we're going to talk about one specific one, which is uh, climate change. So my guest is Dr. Peter Carter, who's local, but is also an expert reviewer on the IPCC, which is the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. And uh, there's more bad news. And um, Peter, we get this uh, on a day uh, today when there's grass fires burning in Saskatchewan. Yeah. Which and floods in Quebec. And floods in Quebec. Mm -hmm. And the a significant portion, uh, not, not that significant, but a major bit of land got flooded in the central United States just over the past few weeks. Yeah, that's right. And uh, someone came out, I, d I don't know, you have, a, you have bits of a report that was put out recently by so the Canadian government, actually okay. department under the Department of Natural Resources, um, uh, their team of scientists, uh, put together um, what is uh, a most important report. And it's the uh, Canadian report on climate change. And it was published on the uh, 5th of April, so it's very recent. Um, it, uh, of course, I went through it because that's what I do. and and put some of the excerpts on my websites, it, w it, it was, is a stunning and shocking report. Um, and I'm very, very disappointed that the media really didn't do their job on this one at all. Um, in my view, the contents of this report should have been front page on all Canadian media. And for a couple of weeks. Yes. Long enough to break through. Uh, long enough for people to, um, people to learn uh, what uh, we have in store for our future. And yeah, it's, it's terrible. The young people at least are beginning to uh, wake up to the fact that it is terrible and that they've been let down terribly and uh, they've really been abandoned. But it's amazing that we have this report in Canada which says that Canada is being heated up. I, I call this global climate destruction now, Jack, you know, because um, uh, w this is more than climate change now. Uh, we're having disastrous, destructive events all over the planet. And uh, people at least are aware of that. Uh, Canada is much more vulnerable to climate change um, than the scientists uh, thought when I started in this 15 or 20 years ago, and particularly British Columbia, and particularly the part of British Columbia, the beautiful part of British Columbia where you and I live. So particularly Vancouver Island and the Lower Mainland. Now, I'm just going to read one little excerpt um, on the headline statements of this scientific report, which says, drought projections at a warming of just over 2 degrees C, 2.4 degrees C, show that the frequency of severe to extreme drought conditions is expected to increase for much of southern Canada, including southeast British Columbia, and southwest British Columbia, it's just far more severe in southeast British Columbia. The prairies, the most valuable region for agriculture productivity, and Ontario. That is, that is stunning. So the prediction is for? Well, we are, say it again. We are hooked in to 1.5 degrees C. If we don't reduce our emissions globally, and just on repeat, an immediate repeat basis. what's going to happen drought-wise. Yeah. To what were the words? The words are severe and extreme drought, affecting uh, right across 
This is dark red that I'm looking yeah, at. Yeah, now right across southern. You're Canada. leaning forward. People can't see your. Yeah, you're no, playing okay. with your computer. But yeah, that's okay. He's got the map and he's looking at it. So it it uh, it doesn't look good. And this isn't just summertime, Jack. Yeah. The um, uh, the report did the uh, drought in the summertime, but they also very sensibly did it over an annual basis. And we have the same pattern, uh, not quite as extensive, um, not quite as severe for Vancouver Island, for example, but a lot of southern Canada is still in severe drought on an annual basis. That means we're looking at year-round drought. Not only that, we're looking at multi-year drought. And the reason is, and this is another one of my big concerns, the reason is the crime of all time. The reason is our national governments, their national emissions targets that they file with the United Nations, and they haven't budged on these targets since uh, 2014 and 15. They have us fixed on a global warming of 3.2 degrees C. And I'm talking from this Canadian report on the effect of not only drought, but extreme heat at 2.2 degrees C. And so this is, this is the dire, dire emergency. It's an Earth emergency. It's a planetary emergency. I've been working on this for years, but it's very much an emergency yeah. where we are here today. But if you read our newspapers, watch our television stations, and listen to our radio, uh, you really will have no idea that there's any kind of emergency coming up because it's just not there. Um, it, to me, it is absolutely, well, not a surprise, because that's exactly what I'd expect. And we, and I'm talking about the people of the world, have got to somehow gain control of our media and our governments if we hope to save our lives, because that seems to be where we're at, and it seems like our rulership does not care because they're just hammering along, although they may have in the plans that one week from now or three months from now, it's all going to come to an end. They're going to just collapse everything. We'll be dying in the streets and they'll have all the money and hope to save themselves for at least a while. That seems to be where we're going. It is where we're going. It is where we're going. Um, uh, our, you're right, our media, the media on climate change episodically um, publishes some important stuff. Uh, on this one, they, they, in my view, they completely miss, missed out on it. Um, but they do not do it on a continual basis. And you're absolutely right, Jack, that there, none of the media gave any sense when they reported this um, just released Canadian climate change assessment, gave any impression that we were in an emergency, that we really had to, gave any impression that this report showed, proved, that we have to act immediately and dramatically. There was no impression of that whatsoever. And that is, uh, that is, uh, it's just so bad. It is just so bad because we're talking about, you know, all today's children yeah. everywhere. And I do not for one second fault anybody who works in the media because Everybody's doing their job. And if you don't, it's the owners of the media who control it, just like everybody else. When you go to work, you do your job. And if they say, we're going to not cover this issue because our owners, corporate Canada, the oil industry, the banks, are so locked into all this poison that we can't leave it. So everybody has to just go along. You know, If you don't do it, you're not going to be working in the media one week from today. And that's true. I've, I, I've seen that in my own personal experience um, some years ago, two, uh, at least twice. I remember a young reporter who was doing some environmental reporting, very good um, uh, investigative journalism in the interior of British Columbia. The, the paper published this, it was, and then they dropped him. He was out. As soon as that got published, he was gone. So. Um, but the media clearly has the prime responsibility to inform the public 
if our lives are threatened. Well, one would hope so. And they are. And they are. They are. They're, I mean, they are meaning our lives are threatened. Yeah. They are not meaning they're actually informing us. <laughs> well, they're not informing us. No, no, no they're, they're not doing that. Yeah. They're not doing that. So what can we do? I mean, here we are. It's, it's uh, you know, w we're in the beginning of, a, of a, what seems to be like it's going to be a very bad scenario that's going to play out. Um, One of the things I should mention um, uh, um, that wasn't in the report, and the media should have done, the media should have done what I did, and that was take a uh, recent um, Federal Government of Canada picture of where our agriculture is, okay? When I did that, I got a new one, 2016. I could overlay the increase in uh, extreme heat. Not only that, because the one thing that this... Right over top of the right climb. Right over yeah. top of the agriculture. One really, really good thing that the report did was that they did a projection on uh, the regions that are going to be affected as climate change climbs with a maximum temperature of 30 degrees C. So they did a whole section on that with, with a whole selection of maps. Media completely missed out that. Why 30 degrees C is so important vitally important is that crop yields fall off the edge. Crop yields literally tip at 28, 29, and 30 degrees. And th those 30 oh, degree regions, as I say, were bang on our best food producing agricultural regions. So w w what's w w you're inferring what we got here. We're valuing fossil fuels over food. And everything else. Yeah, and everything else. Yeah. And everything else. And, all, and our governments, and yeah, with the media, um, what are they doing? Uh, they're promoting. They're pushing. They're pushing more fossil fuel extraction. We have to face More the fossil facts. fuel distribution. Uh, I mean, I think we have, I mean, maybe I'm completely wrong when I say this, and I know most people don't agree with me, but to me, we have to face the fact that our governments are totally gone. <laughs> they oh, I think people are beginning to see that. The, the young people are certainly beginning to see this. And we can fix it. What we have to do is retake control of our governments. We have to tell them, your job is not to do what corporate Canada wants. Your job is to save our lives, because that's where we're at. So let's start to do it. And the way they can do it is just start to find out what we want. Don't manipulate us. Give us honest information. Find out what we want and then do it, you corrupt phonies. Well, it's starting, Jack, because um, right out of the blue, very suddenly, this grassroots movement in the, in the UK started called Extinction Rebellion. And um, yeah, I mean, I research and publish um, on the uh, rate of extinctions um, and the acceleration of the sixth mass extinction that we're, always, that we're already in, the further acceleration by global climate devastation, global cl climate damages. Um, and the Extinction Rebellion has attracted uh, a lot of people. Yes. The scientists, uh, um, are re responding favorably. They're all saying that we support that. Probably the Extinction Rebellion people, but mostly younger people, but not all, are saying things that perhaps scientists didn't see, feel that they could say before. Um, uh, they're not only talking about Extinction Rebellion, which is spreading all over the world now, is not only talking about the six mass extinction, right? I, I mean, you know, this is the most rapid extinction probably Peter, in the history of advanced life on Earth. I have to tell you that we're out of time. Okay. And not only is this segment out of time, but it sounds like we really are out of time. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, we so are. We are indeed. Yeah. yeah. Um, John Horgan, I mean, you're our premier. Justin Trudeau, uh, the owners of the media, you know, you've got to stop doing what you're doing. Thank you very much for watching this segment of Citizens Forum. Thank you for watching this segment of Citizens Forum. Okay. Just the, you should. Wrap up the, like we're 
Oh, okay. You should cut my highly inappropriate laugh out at the end, if you could. That was a good laugh. Yeah. Okay. Well, Peter, uh, I have to tell you, we are out of time, and not only are we out of time for this segment, but it sounds like we really are out of time. So it is time to do something different. And uh, John Horgan, you're the premier of this province, Justin Trudeau, the owners of the media, you have to start doing the right thing. People do not want to be killed, which is what you're doing. Thank you very, very much for watching Citizens Forum.